Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a little quick uh, walk around video of the 1940 Chevy. Just so you could see the condition. Took plenty of pictures. Can uh, supply any pictures uh, you want if there's specific things you want. But uh, here's just an overall view of this 1940 Survivor. Everything's original. The paint is original. The engine drivetrain the interior the upholstery uh, everything is just like it uh, was sold back in 1940 uh, with the exception of of course uh, you see the accessories the bumper uh, guard and the, the wraparounds the fog lights um, those were added on I'm sure afterwards uh, it's got the shark's teeth beauty rings it's got the coker white walls I put those uh, brand new. I don't think it has like a hundred miles on them. Not even maybe. So um, I added brand new tires. Everything's solid. There's no rust. Absolutely no rust on this beauty. Original glass. As you can tell by the weather stripping. Everything's original. It's little delamination on the quarter windows, but um, for being original class, this is uh, in extremely good shape. All the chrome is good. Nothing's pitted. Uh, nothing's pitted too bad anyway. I mean, it's it is a 1940. There you go. I did replace the filler, the gas filler gasket. This uh, I still have it. I didn't throw it away, but it was uh, it was just as bad as this, and uh, it just kind of crumbled apart and uh, fell. So I replaced that. I took out the gas tank. I had it boiled in a radiator shop, cleaned out, boiled, and they coated it with that gel. It's never gonna rust. I mean, uh, the gas tank looked brand new to begin with, but I had it cleaned out, and um, it's got the wraparounds in the back, the pull down, very desirable accessories, like I said it's original paint, original drivetrain, original engine, this thing is a time capsule, it's almost immaculate man, I mean the paint does show some of course signs of aging but um, it still shines. The only major, I would call major, I mean, not really. That's original. I bought it like that. I guess somebody sideswiped it or I don't know what, whatever the case was, maybe put it in a garage or something. But um, that's very minor. Everything's solid. Like I said, no rust. The floorboards are solid, just almost brand new. is in uh, really good shape that's why I took the chance on it that's why I bought it it needs nothing it's only original once I mean of course you could lower it you could do whatever you want to it but um, I didn't have the heart to do it man this it's you just don't find them like like this in this original condition anymore you know it is a master deluxe 1940 and it is a business coupe which means it has uh, no rear seat. Here's the, here's the interior. Like I said, immaculate. I mean, it's a 1940 original, so unless, I don't, I don't know how you would find something cleaner than this. Original, I'm talking about original. Clean, clean, clean. no rust anywhere everything is super solid super super solid all the glass is in great shape
wood grain still holding up after almost 80 years. Sorry, I'm trying not to go too fast. There's a steering wheel. I mean, geez, it's hardly even missing paint, you know? The horn does not work. I haven't even looked at that. I don't even, I didn't even think of, I don't need it. <laughs> I was gonna put a siring in it, but um, that's the Unity uh, fog lamp switch. It's clean, clean, clean. All original. I did change out the gas and the and uh, I mean the brake and the clutch pedals. Uh, rubber. I have the original ones. They were a little worn and one of them was starting to crack and I didn't want them to get damaged so I carefully took them off and I do have them but I replaced them with uh, some original looking uh, uh, correct bow tie for 1940 uh, new rubber. The gas pedal is original. The starter is original. The little boot on the starter is starting to uh, crack and fray, but um, it is original. This original um, carpet, I mean uh, protective mat, I guess, the rubber mat, it's not torn. I just took it off yesterday actually, took everything off, all this, and I tried to um, give it somewhat of a cleaning without damaging it. It had a lot of North Carolina uh, clay, I guess, the red clay in North Carolina, the dirt. It's, it was kind of embedded on it. It's a North Carolina car all its life, North Carolina, since new. One owner, one family, um, got it off a buddy of mine who uh, got it from that one owner, one family car since new. So uh, besides my buddy having it for a couple of months or not even, it quickly traded hands to me, so I would consider myself the second owner, but technically, I guess I'm three on the list. But um, this has always been a one owner, one family car, and it's extremely clean. This thing works like brand new. I mean, it still clicks, you don't even have to. That's the air vent on the outside. The wipers work. They work, I mean, they work like brand new. Wiper switch. All the ivory on it is uh, not cracked. Everything's original. I can tell everything's original. I've bought repops before, and uh, these are not repops. This is the real deal. Every single one of them. On that side too, the ivory. Every single one. Every, any every button is is just uh, almost brand new looking. It's got the ice tray. It is a ra uh, clock delete. I went ahead and put that clock, it doesn't work, but I just like the way it looks. I do have the delete plate on it still. I mean, uh, I still have it in my possession because it is a clock delete uh, edition. This was a businessman's coupe. So uh, yeah, it's nothing fancy about these cars. Not like the super deluxe or you know the ones with all the chrome and stuff. Interesting uh, fact here. Um, these are the original seat covers. They were put on uh, from what I understand by the owner when he bought it brand new so yeah that how I mean that just blew my mind these are the original 1940 car seat covers that have been on this car since new everybody asks me uh, hey well have you seen what's under there have you taken them off there's no way you're taking these off if you take them off might as well rip them up I mean you cannot they're on here so tight and of course, you know, they're kind of brittle. Well, I mean, not brittle, I guess more of the fabric, you know, especially this this woven fabric tends to get dried out and tear. Of course, the driver's side has the most wear and tear. But as you can see, that thing looks brand new under there. It's the original upholstery. The original color, the original upholstery original seat covers I took this off and was vacuuming it just trying to get a bunch of the 80 year old dirt out of it I guess um, everything works as it should except for the horn of course but um the wood back here is 
in great shape. I mean, it is, I mean, you, it looks a few years old, not 80 years old, you know. This is the original cover. I came with it. You can tell it's original. It's See everything how it's supposed to be. Solid, solid. Headliner is, looks brand new. I mean, there's nothing to nothing to criticize here. Uh, dome light works. Like I said, everything where the windows go up and down uh, shifts properly. Uh, nothing's wrong with it. it. It drives almost like brand new. I mean, I don't even know what brand new would be. I wasn't around in 1940, but it shifts beautifully. I mean, it drives great. It uh, stops. I mean, it's 1940. It's not going to stop on a dime. <laughs> like all old cars, I guess you have to plan your stops, but hey, it's a 1940. And I did not have the heart to upgrade any of the brake uh, braking system but um this is the driver's side actually let me pop the hood okay fog lights not cracked at all it says yankee clipper on them yankee clipper Grill guard, wrap arounds. Look at this solid, dry, bone dry, solid. Original engine, original wiring, original everything. does not overheat I run it in traffic like at 180 I think I mean it it's just does not overheat it just runs really really well let me close it because I'm about to turn it on and take off but um, I'll show you the the rear part. Like I said, solid. Everything's freaking solid. Hinges are solid. Not a freaking speck of rust through anywhere. Okay, let's see. This condition of the trunk man it's crazy it's just it just looks a few years old I mean it's been so well taken care of original spare can't say if it's ever been used or not but that is the original spare now how often do you see this man like the original bumper jack still wrapped up and what I, uh, what they've uh, told me is the original uh, dealer wrapping paper. I mean, not even the bumper jack has been unwrapped from the dealership. And I'm, I'm not gonna do it either. <laughs> solid, 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 no rust anywhere. Look at this trunk. This looks brand new, man. Still has that, um, that, rubberized coating that it, they put on it it is freaking solid bone dry nothing on the ends nothing on the drip rails I mean it is dry and solid
no rust, not even up here. Thing looks like brand new, man. Let me show you this side. Same thing with this door. Everything solid. Everything works as it should. Clean, dry. Original paint, no rust. It's just amazing, man. You're you're not gonna find it like this in original condition. If you do, jump on it, cause I mean, they're only original once. That's a cliche. Everybody says it, but it's true. I mean, to get something in this condition, it's, it's almost impossible to do. It just needs nothing. I'm about to fire it up. Uh, excuse me, this has got a little uh, trick here. Uh, there you go. It's kind of hard to do when you're recording with the other hand. There she is. You don't get it from new cars that the sound the door makes when it closes but um here you go there it is Actually, let me get a shot of the engine running. No noises, no ticking. It's like a freaking sewing machine. y'all can hear that I'm trying to cover the wind it's kind of windy out here I'm by the lake and it's pretty windy that is just butter smooth man like a freaking sewing machine Parking lights work as well. Let's see now. That's it. She rides out like a friggin' dream, man. correctly like nothing like butter man
Anyways, 1940 Chevrolet, Master Deluxe Business Coupe for sale. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Alright guys, have a great day.